of the same people. Is there someone up there who call me an imposter? It's dumb luck, right? I woke up in the right body. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right Simon. Christ, this is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind? Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Please say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still feel how I had to, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the small rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, 
Even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the Ark, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends? I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... Hello, Catherine. What happened? Me, hey, I know it's not much, but why are we stop moving? The power blacked out for a moment. I think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry, it should hold. Comfort. It will hold. Does... does time freeze when you're not in power? Time feels committed more than anything. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes. But generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. <sighs> it's rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. That'd be the worst.
Stick to the lamp lights, they won't go near them. I can't fail, Glasser. It's important I reach Omicron. Our future depends on it. Calm down. Let's just follow the path. If I die, I need you to tell Julia Dahl that the wow is out of control. She needs to get to Sarang. He'll know what to do. Raz, you can tell them yourself. We just need to pick up the pace, okay? Glass! We lost the path! We need to go back! I know where to go. Come on! It's over there! The light is over there! Final push, Ross. Almost there, we just... Ah!
appear to be inside. Let's find the Ark. Welcome to Tau. What's left of it? Are you guys all right? What happened here? We ran out of real food long ago. People have been getting sick. Haven't heard from anyone in months. No shit, they all think you're dead down here. Some failed evac story circulating at Omicron. Oh, God. Listen, son. We're on an important mission, and we need your help to operate the Omega space gun. When it's done, we can all head back up the plateau. But now we need to get moving? Of course. Head on through to the habitat. We shut off the front section to preserve power. All right. See you soon.
Good man. We messed up, Sarah. There, there. I should have launched. Taken the chance. There's time. If Ashkin says we could try again, when things calm down. You gotta do it, you know. You got to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, not better you or your stupid pets inside. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
you. You're different. Can I help you with anything? Are you human? Sarah Lindwall. Payload technician at your service. A rare sight, am I right? I'd say so. You're the first normal living human I've seen. There's not many left down here. Most of them are up on the plateau. You mean at Omicron? Yeah. There's no one alive at Omicron. You've been there? I've been all over. The power plant at Upsilon. The ruins of Lambda. The abandoned Delta. Theta. Even the Theta? There's not a lot left of Pathos too. And, uh... I'm the only living person you've met. <coughs> you mean I'm the last living human on the planet? I'm sorry. Who are you again? Simon Jarrett. Stationed out? Nowhere. I, I used to work in a bookshop in Toronto. Long story. Then what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to find the Ark. Why would you? How do you know about that? I've heard it's the last hope for mankind. Damn right it is. Now, what do you want with it? Take it to the gun at Phi. Launch it into space. That was the plan, all right. I've been guarding it ever since we brought it back to Tau. I just couldn't bring myself to let go. To tell you the truth, I don't have the strength to argue. And I certainly don't have the time to wait for the next sentient thing shuffling through here. Go ahead. Take it. Thank you. Can I get you anything? Do anything for you? You could kill me. Good one. Are you serious about me killing you? No, I'd love to hang around here until I dry up to the size of a raisin. Simon, this fucking sucks. <coughs> I don't want to live like this. I still can't believe I'm the last one. It's crazy. Shouldn't we be doing something to keep you alive? Why? You're the last human. I, I just find it disrespectful to our entire history not to fight this. Sure, we have the Ark, but you're the real deal. Thanks. That's probably the best compliment I've ever got. But the truth is that the Ark is all we have. We'll have to accept Second best, you know? None of this feels right. Simon, I want to die. Sarah. Just think about it. Don't let me down. Be careful. Don't let me down. Go ahead. Go save humanity. What's left of it? Good luck, Simon. Don't let me down. I'm glad you came by. Good to get this over with. If I knew you'd come, I would have cleaned this place up a little bit. Be careful. Please don't leave me like this. Be my guest. I got no secrets worth keeping. It won't be long now, just, please, just stay. What a crazy thing this was, life. At least I won't have to turn 30. <laughs> you 
wish I could have died at home. Have you ever been to Greenland? It's very beautiful. Well, at least when you get out of the city. Nanak is busy, and yes, there's like 12 million people trying to get around, but it's a great place. Or rather, it was a great place before the comet ended it all. You know what? I prefer it this way. I liked pathos. Liked my colleagues, Ian, Nick, Jasper, even Catherine. People thought she was weird because she was quiet, but she was cool. Simon, you still there? I'm here, Sarah. Don't let him die, okay? Send them out there to the stars. Black box is inactive. Probably found a way to switch it off. No way I can climb a ladder while carrying the ark like this. Can't climb with the Ark. Can't climb and carry the Ark.
tell me what you want. I need you to stop the WoW. What? How? The enslaved protein sloshing around your suit is the news from which the WoW will learn itself. What are you talking about? As soon as I came to the Omicron, I tried to tell them to make the toxin that would make the WoW with them. But they didn't understand. They put it inside the cabinet. was so infuriating. They needed to take it to Alpha. Fountainhead of the misery we created. And the girl, she figured it out. She was going to take care of it, but the wow shrieked. They all died. You. You. You took the gel from the cabinet and made yourself into a venomous snake. You're saying this toxin inside of me can kill the wow altogether? You.
This has to be Fi, right? Hope the Ark made it here in one piece. It's complicated. I just need to know one thing. I'll have both my arms in the Ark, right? Yes, of course. Are you okay, though? Can you do stuff? Yeah. Let's just get this over with. Did you find the Ark? I did, but I kind of lost it on my way here on an automated tram thing headed to Phi. So it should be around somewhere. That's great. Let's go get it. A satellite is loaded into a shell. The shell is accelerated by electromagnets along the barrel. Enough momentum to escape Earth's gravity is gained before progression. Reaching space, the satellite will shed the shell and unfold. Onboard thrusters settle the satellite into an orbit. Find out what happened to the Ark team? Not really. For some reason, they didn't go through with the launch, so they took the Ark back to town. I hope everything's okay with the space gun. Yeah, I doubt I'll be able to repair one of those. Feels like the longest day of my life. Has it just been one day? I have no idea. Our time together is a confusing pattern. <laughs> what time is it then? What day? It's May 11th, 2104, 3 30 a.m., but I don't remember when we started. You know, I woke up in my bed today. It just happens to have happened a hundred years ago. Sounds like a real. It does. I woke up in my bed today, a hundred years ago. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? crazy to think where I am. Not only is this the future, it's in the middle of the sea. I know nothing of this time or what the world looks like. Not much to brag about now. Before the comet, I guess it was okay. Yeah. Better not oversell it. Might change my mind about the Ark. You seriously not gonna tell me what happened to your arm? I had to make a quick stop at Site Alpha to help kill the well. What? How? Why? Stop it from torturing the memory of humanity. Okay, let's just get back to work. I think I found the assembly space. What do you see? It's like a huge open shell, a bullet ready to be loaded. That's great. All prepared for the Ark. On it. Are you suggesting we keep it down here? Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? Eternity among the stars, remember? The people inside the Ark won't know the difference. We can just keep it down here, and we don't have to risk the Ark being shot through 5,000 meters of broken barrel, and then pushed through another 100,000 meters of a dust-filled atmosphere. 
Will the casing stand all that pressure? Well, the odds aren't great. Catherine, say something. I don't care what you think. I'm launching it. No need to be like that. Let's just hang on to it for a while and think about it. We can launch it later. No, that wasn't the deal. We needed to save them. To launch it. Out there, it's hope. Down here, it's a fucking terrarium waiting to die with the rest of us. Come on, Catherine. It's not asking much. Let's just think about it before we risk the only hope humanity has to survive this hell. No, we launch it today. This is my project, my arc. It's bigger than that. Don't you get it? It's not for you to decide. We're talking about the fate of mankind. Get away from the ark. I'm taking it. No, you're not. I'm not gonna let you ruin this. Stop it. Guys, calm down. Get away from me. No. What the fuck did you do? It was an accident. Catherine, talk to me. Catherine. Oh, God. Catherine. Did you say something? It's you. You had an accident. What are you... Oh. You mean Catherine. Don't worry, it's better this way. You got into a fight with your colleagues. They didn't want to risk launching the Ark. Thought it might not make it through the atmosphere. They killed me? I'm sure it was an accident. They were just trying to stop you from launching. How could they kill me? Yeah. I know I'm not an easy person to like. I just... Is that it? not that familiar with guns of any size. Oh, here we go. All systems say go. Lock and load. Combat combo and the gun. Did you have friends in Toronto, Simon? Real friends? There were some. Jesse, Sean, Kevin. I always wanted a friend. Like a real one, someone you'd never hold back with. I'll be your friend. Oh, pity friendship? Now I feel even worse. Do you think the Ark will make it through the atmosphere and into space? It almost doesn't matter anymore. We just need to try. If we burn, we burn. If we're lucky, we just gave humanity a new Now what? Chance. Now we just need to get the shell into the gun and then... Kaboom. Aren't you forgetting something? How are you gonna get us on board the Ark? Don't we need to make another scan? Oh, don't you worry. You don't operate something like the Omega Space Gun with your bare hands. You mean... it's a pilot seat? Like back at Omicron? Yes, and we can use it to transfer you to the Ark while operating the gun. Two birds and all that. Now, take the Omnitool and plug it in next to the seat and I'll guide you through the final steps.
I'll never get used to that. Guess you won't have to. Not after this is over. Right. Have a seat. Comfortable? As good as it's gonna get. Okay, I'll activate the seat. You should be able to use the machines to load the bullet you assembled. How do you operate this thing? Don't know, I never tried this one. But pilot seats are notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be a problem. Just hit the button and we're off. But we need to transfer our minds to the Ark. We also need to make sure it launches at all, so I tied them to a single switch. Just push the button and we're off. Here we go! No turning back. Thank you, Simon. Don't mess. It's an amazing thing you did. And I want you to know I appreciate it. Time. 20 seconds. What's the matter with the upload? Just give it a second. I thought you guys would have better bandwidth. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. You gotta be kidding me! Five. Four. stars. We're here. No. We were getting on the Ark. I saw it. It finished loading just before it launched. Yeah, I saw. Then why are we still here? Simon, I can't keep telling you how it works. You won't listen. You know why we're here. You were copied onto the Ark. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. We both did. Just like Simon and Omicron. Just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. This is bullshit. We came all this way! We launched the Ark! I know it sucks, but our copies are up there! Catherine and Simon are both safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. Are you crazy? We're gonna die down here with those fuckers living at large on a spaceship! They're not us! They're not us! I'm sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survived, that something lives on. No, 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 fuck this! Fuck! Fuck this! Fuck you! Fuck you, Catherine! You lied! And I believed in you! I trusted you! You said we're getting on the fucking Ark! We are on the Ark, you idiot! I didn't lie! I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance! Fuck! Catherine? Please don't leave me alone. Catherine? Catherine?
Whoa. Is this? Did it work? Catherine? Catherine! I can't believe we actually made it. Well, we did. I'm so relieved. It's okay, Simon. Everything's all right now. <laughs>